Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are working on our futuristic, uh, VTOL thingamabobby. I don't know what we're calling this thing, a futuristic militaristic VTOL thingamabobby. Anyway, this thing right here is a cargo VTOL. We're gonna go ahead and try and make it so that it can carry, uh, cargo, which makes sense. Uh, and essentially, it is gonna be a VTOL that carries cargo that is militaristic. As uh, I've already said a million times. Anyway, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding some engine pods to this thing. Uh, as well as some wings to hopefully make it look normal-ish. Um, I want to make sure that it looks like it'll work. I want to make sure that it looks good. And I want to make sure that it does actually end up flying. So, today we're going to go ahead and add some engines, some wings, and that is probably it. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so, uh, how are we actually gonna do this? I, I really don't know. So I'm thinking we take this bit off right here, and the same thing at the back. Uh, and essentially we're gonna do a similar design for both the front and the back, because I feel like that makes sense. So we're gonna delete this guy right here, we're gonna delete this guy right here, and we're gonna start building from 1, 2, 3, 4, right here. So, if we can, we're gonna go ahead and turn this around, and attach this onto here like so. We're gonna build these guys outwards and also backwards from there. I don't want them to be too big, so we're probably going to leave them pretty much as is. And essentially we can attach that onto there like so. So delete these guys, and I think, I think that'll work out fine. Whether it will or whether it won't, I'm unsure. Uh, but our engine should be able to go at the end of this, and I guess I'm not going to make it that long. So we'll do it kind of like this. I think that'll be fine. I, I do, I think that'll be okay. We're also just going to go ahead and attach these guys onto here, because I can. And I'm going to go ahead and shove that guy right there. And I'm also just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the underside to attach it all together, which hopefully looks okay. I think it does. So, tiny little wings, little jutty ones, and uh, that should do for us. I've got a little bit more of an idea, actually. Let's go ahead and delete these guys right here. And what we should be able to do is grab one of these guys, smash it straight onto there like so, and we should be able to make these guys go sideways from there. Just like that. That makes our wings look a little bit nicer. Again, they are very small, but that is okay. I wasn't expecting them to be huge anyway, so this is actually fine. If we do that as well, that'll look kind of cool. And uh, I think, so far, it's actually going to work. I'm so happy about this, actually. Okay, so from there, we're going to go ahead and delete this guy and this guy. We're going to get ourselves a pivot, and we're going to shove it directly in there. So, this is where our engine bit comes into play. Actually, let's go ahead and just fill that bit in right there. The engine bit is going to go on here, and that's going to be all right. So, let's leave it like this. Oh, this is kind of crazy. Hopefully it works. Okay, so my brain is telling me that these wings need to be a lot longer, but I don't want to make them longer, because that'll make it look very strange. Maybe the back one could be a little bit longer than the front one, and I guess that would make sense. So, yes, we'll have engines on the front. Uh, I don't know whether the microcontroller I have is going to work for four engines. But I'm going to go ahead and assume that it will, so there you go. Anyway, let's just start building them in. So, I don't know whether we start it so that it's spawned upwards, or so that we spawn it so that it started downwards. Upwards probably easier, but downwards might make sense. Not sure. Alright guys, I think we're going to spawn it in upwards, and I just think that makes sense. So, we're going to do it anyway. So, I'm actually now thinking we delete this one and we move it backwards to there. Because uh, backwards seems to make a little bit more sense. We're then going to try and build an engine onto this. Now, I don't know whether they should be round. I don't know whether they should be straight up um, straight or, or what. I'm actually really unsure as to what to do here. Um, I'm thinking we attach that to there like that. Uh, I think we'll attach this to here like this. Um, which sort of joins them on quite nicely. We're then going to go around the front end like so. We're going to go around this end as well like this. And I think we'll actually get away with making them really big. Um, but yeah, go around very square. So one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. And build them back around to hopefully fit very nicely around this end. Is that going to work? Is it not going to work? Who knows? I don't. Okay, so do these. Delete these ones and these ones and these ones. Attach that onto there like that. Yeah. Those are big. Those are big. You know, I'm actually thinking we have them be, uh, instead of rounded, we actually have them be sort of square, no, rectangular, I guess. So somewhat like this. I think that's going to make it look better. So that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and take these guys, cut them, move them this way too, paste them back in, merge this with this, and same with this one. There we go. Okay, is that going to look good? So far it looks very weird, and I don't know whether the engines are going to look very odd here. I think they will. 
Um, but we might be able to do it anyway. Might work. So there you go. Anyway, we need to build an engine that'll fit in there, and um, we need it to work. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so I think the easiest way to start this, um, in terms of making it work, is actually by uh, building the engine itself, and then we'll build the casing around it, and then the casing should work. So, realistically, I could just shove a jet engine in here and do it like that, but I think a diesel engine is, or, or a modular engine, will be kind of cooler, so... That's what we're going to work on today, I think. We're going to do uh, a modular diesel engine. So, if we can keep this going downwards, uh, quite nicely like so. We can actually drag this down, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, we're going to go with six, seven of those. We're going to go with seven of those. Uh, we're going to have the belt drive, obviously, at the bottom. So that's going to go there. And we're going to work it out from there. So, delete these guys. Okay, awesome. Um... Cylinders, I can't drag cylinders down, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, uh, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four. Okay, right, there we go. Actually, I might do one less as well. So uh twenty-three. Twenty-three cylinders. Um, I think that's gonna lift us up, especially if we have four of them. So I'm quite happy with this. Anyway, that's all good. Uh, we now need to attach each of these guys together. So somewhere up here, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And this. And uh, this. And also this. There you go. So they're all attached together. Uh, if I put the air and the fuel in here, everything should work. Hopefully. I mean, you'd, you'd think so anyway. Uh, so that's all good. We also need coolant on this thing. We need, we need everything on this. It's ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, let's get back in here, grab ourselves a clutch, uh, if we can, there's a clutch right there, and then our propeller can go anywhere on top of there, but first, gearbox, smash that into here like this, there we go, then propeller can go on there, and hopefully it'll look good. I don't know whether it will, and I don't know how big we want them to be, because realistically this is a small propeller, but it's huge, it is, that is huge, where's the end, there you go, small propeller end. Bam. Those are big. Those are actually very big. Um, and possibly too big, actually? Because, uh, yeah, they go over. But if we make them a little bit smaller, they will fit and they will work. So if we do this, let's go to zero. Uh, actually, let's go to 15%. That seems like it's a nice number. 15% uh, right there. Positive, positive. I think it's actually neutral that we need. Because it goes into helicopter mode and stuff. Uh, we'll go with three. We'll go with three. What does that look like? What does it actually look like? Okay, a bit weird. They look a little bit too small for this craft, but they might work. I think it might be worth mentioning, actually. I've never really used any of these. I've never used any this size. These are way bigger than what I've used before. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this. Do that. There we go. Continue this up. Do this one. And do... Oh, do the rest of them as well. There's going to be quite a lot of this going on. Uh, where I don't really know whether things will fit. But we'll try and fit them in anyway, and hopefully they will. So that's that's currently what I'm doing. I'm trying to make them fit. So go ahead and shove this in here like this. Good. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is actually add some fluid ports. Actually, I might go with... Ooh, I might go with one of these. Which seems a little, a little bit odd. But I think it might look quite cool. We'll then do the same thing on that side. And then on the top of these, I don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah. So, um... What do we do on the top of this? I, I don't, I genuinely don't know. Uh, fluids. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some fluid pots here. Uh, this bit, yes. This bit, yes. And this bit. And then the same on these pieces. So flip them over. Make sure the lines go the same way. There we go. And then on this piece, I'm just going to add one of these. Like this. And the same with this piece on this side. Like this. I don't think they look terrible, but I don't know whether they look good. So there you go. Okay, yeah, I built that wrong. I, I have built this horribly wrong, actually. We need to delete all of these guys around here. Uh, and essentially, we just need to attach that up to there. Same with this one, and same with this one, and also same with this one. Then we're going to build around the bottom of these, uh, just like this. And I guess we can just get away with doing this. So there's that one. Uh, th there's this one. There we go. And then the last two. So this one, and... This one, there we go, okay. I think that works. Yeah, 
Okay, so, uh, what do we do from here then? So, I think I need an air supply, so let's go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, engine, let's type engine in again, there we go, we need a fuel supply. That's gonna go... It's actually gonna go here like this. We're gonna have a hose go from there into the craft itself. Because I think that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, we're then gonna have to do the rest of it too, so we need the air supply also. Luckily, we can just have the air supply right there. We can pipe this in to each other, and there's that one. There's that one, and that is mighty fine. Okay, I think this'll this will be fine. Uh, a hose connector as well is another thing we need, so we're gonna smash that onto there. And what else do we need out of this? Um, so we got air, we've got fuel, we need exhaust. That'll go on afterwards, that's okay. We then need cooling on a manifold, so manifold. This goes... It says attach manifold to a cylinder to provide a connection for coolant to that cylinder. So I actually attach this to here, right? Not onto there? Which I think I've done in, in, in the past. I don't know whether that's correct or not, but sure. Okay, good. So, we need to sort this out. <laughs> we do. Engine, yes. We go down here, starter. Obviously we need a starter, so we're gonna have one of those. Uh, what else do we need? A coolant pump, thingamabobby. Let's go ahead and attach one of those onto there. An alternator. Let's go ahead and smack one of those on. In fact, two alternators. I, I think. Yeah, we'll go with two. That's fine. Okay, so... Uh, I'm actually going to remove this from this side, and I'm going to put it on this side instead. I'm going to pipe this directly up into there. Maybe. I'm going to bring this one out sideways, then upwards, and then we're going to bring it into there. So this one needs to go this way. It then needs to go sideways, and then it needs to go down into there, and that'll be fine. Okay, we're getting it done. Pipes. Yes. Straight piece. Yes. One, two. Okay, so it goes from the pump into a manifold. Uh, we also need cooling on a coolant thing as well. So actually, this straight pipe probably won't be here. We'll put a radiator on it, and that'll be fine. I think. Uh, in my brain, that's saying it's fine. My brain is telling me it's fine. Okay, good. So, if that is fine, uh, I'm happy with it. Good. Okay, so, um, now that all this is on here, let's go ahead and start building it in and see what we can actually come up with. Because it might end up working, it might not end up working, I don't know. So, let's go down about three of these. There we go, good. Turn this around. About three of these, there we go, excellent. Keep, keep going, keep going. Turn it around, bring it down. Keep going, turn it around, bring it down. There we go. And then we should be able to get away with something like this. On the bottom of there. Yeah, that on the bottom of there. And this on the bottom of here. I don't know whether it needs to be this chunky all the way around, but we've made it chunky anyway, so hopefully that is right. <laughs> hopefully that's right. So that's going to go there. We're going to do the same thing right here. I need to go to this side and do the same thing right here as well. And I need to do the same exact thing right there as well. Uh, I'm also going to do it all the way around these guys, too. Um, because I think it all just needs to come in a little bit. Because it's a little bit too chunky at, this, at the moment. So let's get rid of all those. Go ahead and do this. Actually, let's do this. There we go. And then above that, we're actually going to do these guys. And we're just going to fill all this in. That doesn't look terrible. I think it looks okay, actually. Okay, so, uh, I've gone ahead and built that in all the way around. Let's go ahead and have a little look at it while it's in here. There we go. And those engines, ah, they look okay. Once they've got some paint on them, uh, I think they'll actually look really good. So, we're going to keep them as they are. Um, I'm going to also make them go a little bit further down, because clearly they're a bit big. Um, but yeah, we could do something with this. So, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to actually probably use these guys and just do this kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to turn this around and do this kind of thing. There we go. And I'm going to have to try and attach all these guys together somehow as well. So, delete this guy, delete this guy. And I don't know how we get away with this, but I think we just attach this under here. Like so. We do this one. We do these guys on the other side. Um, like so, and like so. And then we attach it all together using these pieces. There's one. And there's two. Bosh. And then I think I'm just going to fill this in. There we go. It, it, I don't think it should be filled in. In fact, actually, the exhaust is going to come out the bottom. So, let's get ourselves some pipes. And we're going to have exhaust pipes bringing it out the rear. Out the bottom, sorry. This is going to be great. Yeah, okay, so there's one, two, and three. And then fluid. 
I don't know what we should let them exhaust out of, but I think actual exhaust pipes might be kind of cool. Uh, but I don't see them. There it is. So, one, two, and three. Okay, a little bit strange, but I think it might work. Yeah, I, I think so. I think this is kind of cool. I'm going to delete these guys off the sides as well, and I'm just going to go with these. There we go, and same on this one. One and two, and I'm just going to do this. And honestly, I think that's fine. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, but that actually isn't it. That isn't everything, because this piece right here is going to be deleted. Yes, we're going to delete this guy, this guy, and this guy. We're also going to delete this piece right here. So, this is where things get kind of interesting, because, because of how this works. Delete that guy. Okay, send it sideways. Send it upwards. Yes. Grab ourselves a straight piece, bring it upwards again. Uh, then, from there, we're going to go ahead and send it this way. Okie dokie. Get ourselves a heat exchange of sorts, like a radiator. Uh, a belt one would be kind of cool. I think it'll look awesome. And there we go. Okay, so that's just going to be shoved on the bottom there. Going to delete these two, and I'm just going to whack these on. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to do this. That looks interesting. Yes, okay. So our coolant goes into a uh, radiator now, so that's good. Um, we need a clutch on all of these guys. We need our air to go to an air manifold or an air inlet, which it does. Um, then we need to start our exhaust and our fuel, and then we're done. So, let's go inside. Try and figure out our exhaust, because it goes through here and then it actually goes in there, but that's impossible. <laughs> that is actually impossible to get to. So delete this one, this one, and this one. And try and figure out a way for it to actually get there. Because I currently don't have a way of getting the exhaust to it, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have a way to get the exhaust there, so out the front doesn't work. It's just going to have to come through the back end. Okay. It's fine. So, um, engine. Yes. We need our exhaust piece, which is just one of these. There we go. We then need this to angle outwards, then down. Uh, like this, there we go. We're gonna then send it downwards through here. Pipes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we're gonna send it into each one of these. So we need an angled pipe at the start. Then we need one of these guys on here. We need another one of those guys. And then we need to send it up into there. And that will be us. Bosh. Okay. Exhaust is in. So now we've got an exhaust, we've got a radiator, we have our fuel, and we also have our air supply done. Our fuel isn't actually connected though, and I think, I think the way that I want to do it is I'm going to delete these guys <coughs> through to the front. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in right here. Oh, we need such a big fuel tank actually. We're going to need a huge fuel tank. So for now, we're just going to put infinite fuel on, uh, and hopefully that'll work. So let's go ahead and save this as Spaceship 2. There we go. Uh, I'm going to load up our other vehicle, so anything actually. Do, 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 do. Uh, this guy. And I need the microcontroller, wherever it is. I don't actually know. It's at the front of this. So, I need to grab this guy, uh, if I can. Let me go ahead and copy it. Here we go. Could it? Yes. Let's go ahead and load up our thingamabobby. This guy. And each engine actually needs one of these. But because I think these add to detail, kind of, we're actually just going to go ahead and shove them on the side. And make them detail, you know? I'm just going to go ahead and shove it down into here, uh, just like this. And there we go. That's part of the build now. Okay, we're then going to take it to the other side and press U. Here we go. Send it across. Paste it in right there. Merge this together. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to quickly connect each of these engines together. And then we're going to see if they work. And that'll be awesome. Okay, guys, so I've done some work here. I've gone ahead and put four throttle levers in here. Each one of these will control an engine eventually, but to be fair, we've only got two engines at the moment, so that doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, get inside this thing and see if we can turn it on. We are going to have infinite electricity on, uh, and we're also going to have infinite fuel on, because that's kind of what we need. Okay, so into here we go. Let's go ahead and press 1. Okay, that sounds like the engine's running. Let's do this, and let's do this. Okay, so the engine is running. The fan doesn't seem to be spinning, but that's okay. Okay, they are sort of working. I can make them a little bit bigger too, so I will. So let's go ahead and make this up to, let's say, 30%. Hopefully that won't 
uh, hit into our thing, but there you go, 30%. Good, okay, I'm happy with this. Uh, we also need a constant number! Uh, because reasons, so constant number. Uh, let's go ahead and just shove this into the floor, I guess? I mean, it doesn't matter where. It doesn't matter where it goes. I just want to kind of hide it. Uh, I'm going to put it underneath the seat. There we go. So we're going to put that right there. Connect the constant number to all of these. Clutch pressure, clutch pressure, clutch pressure. There we go. And each one of these ones as well. There we go. Awesome. And that works. Okay. So, for some reason, the heat exchange thingamabobby doesn't work, but it should. It should be on whenever we... Yeah, okay, right. Let's try it one more time. So, I've added things. I've done things. Let's get inside. Ah! Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm under the thing. I'm under the thing. Okay, here we go. So, sit in here. Go ahead and do one. Do this and this. Okay, I now need to go to the outside and see if these are working. Is there anything actually passing through here? I don't know. Oh wait, on signal false. Okay, so instead of connecting to this, we're actually going to connect one to the engine, uh, so to the fans. There we go, and now they should work. Okay, so then maybe that was an issue. That's fine. Okay, in we go. Press one. Now the fans are working, everything seems fine, good. Okay, the other thing that I do want to try as well, really quickly, is I want to grab this, I'm going to put it directly in the center, and this is going to be for moving our pitch uh, forwards. Oh, this is slightly weird actually, because I put that so high, um, it's going to be weird. It's going to be very weird, I don't know how I feel about this. Anyway, if I do this, which way does it go? Forwards, nice. Okay, so if we move those forwards, that's the position they'll be flying in. And I've already managed to just demolish a little bit of it. Yeah, okay, right, we can't be having that. <laughs> we can't be having that. Okay, so down to 25%, I guess. There you go, down to 25%. Hopefully that's small enough. I don't know whether it will be, but let's try this. Uh. Oh, are they hitting the... They're not hitting the ground. That should work. Yeah, okay, right, that's too much. What are they- wait, 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 what are they hitting? It might be that they're not hitting the actual interior, but they're hitting the, uh, propeller. Not the propeller. They're hitting the- they're hitting the wing itself, aren't they? They are, they're totally hitting the wing itself. So actually, what we might be able to get away with doing is taking these guys off the top, so this one and this one, uh, going down by, like, one, cutting it, moving it up about three, there you go. Paste it back in. Okay, excellent. Grab ourselves a little pipe. Da -da 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 -do -do -do. Attach this to here. Do this. Merge this guy with this guy. Merge that guy with that guy. And... I don't know, I guess sealing it all together. So this goes like this. That goes like that. There you go. This guy and this guy. And it's gonna look very strange. There's not much I can do about it, but it is just gonna look weird. So there you go. There's one there, one there. We're gonna continue around. One there, one there, and continue round. One there, one there. Okay, so, is this gonna look better? Is it gonna work better? Or is it not? Here we go. Okay. This is gonna be cool. I, I, I honestly think this is gonna be really cool, so... We're gonna leave it sort of as is, and uh, then we gotta build the back ones as well. There's quite a lot that we need to do here. We also need an actual fuel tank on this thing, because at the minute, we don't have one of those either. So, yeah. We're gonna have to sort a few things out. Okay, so, for now, um, I also wanna start on the back end as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete about three more of those. That's good, I think. We can then attach one of these guys to here. Yes, I don't know how far out those ones go, but I wanna go a little bit more. There we go, and we can attach all this together too, so all of these to there, that's good. Uh, and then we're going to sort out the back end the same way we sorted out the other end before. So, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and attach this to here like this. We're going to go ahead and get one of these guys, smack it onto there like so, and then we're going to do this from here all the way across to there, that's fine. Delete this guy, get ourselves a throttle, no, 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 a pivot. 
and shove it into there. There we go. Excellent. We're then going to go ahead and get the entire one of these and put it over there. So, from here, all the way down to the bottom, all the way out to the side, all the way out to this side, all the way forwards, and all the way on this side as well. Okay, including this, which might mess things up a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, copy it. Yes, move it backwards. Okay, they are the same height as each other, so that's fine. Uh, so that's going to go there, we're going to move it forwards. Okay, we're going to move it forwards there, paste it. We have to delete this guy. And we're going to have to refit it with one of these. There. Okay. So we merge this with this. That's fine. Okay. Right, so now what we do is we copy this. We press U. We take it to the other side. We paste it onto there. Wait, hang on. Which bit are we... Yeah, like that. There we go. Paste it. We then merge this together, just like so. And then we put the propellers on the top, and that is it. That's all we need to do. So that goes there. On the other side as well. That's all fine. Okay, what does that look like? Really, really weird. This is perfect. Yes. Oh, this is this is truly this is good. This is really good. Ignore the fact that I just said truly as well. I never ever ever say truly. Anyway, we need to go ahead and grab two more of these. So let's go ahead and copy this. We're gonna move it backwards and we'll paste it somewhere in here. In fact, let's go ahead and do this. Move it this way, move it inwards. Move it upwards to about there, and paste it there. Bam! There we go, we're gonna press U. Take it to the other side as well. Okie dokie, paste it there. Merge these guys together. Merge this guy together. And delete these, fill this in. Fill that in, delete these guys, fill this in, and there we go. Okay, good, so now all we need to do is attach these ones to the throttle levers and also the engines. And make sure these guys work as well, and then we can go from there. Is it gonna work out in the end? Hopefully. Okay, so everything should be connected. Oh, except one thing, actually. Unless I've done it, I don't know whether I did do it or whether I didn't do it, but if I do this, are they all turning? No, okay. We need the last ones, or the back ones, to turn also, because uh, that's the way VTOLs work. Go ahead and attach this to there, and also to here, and let's see if this does actually turn. If it does, that would be excellent. So, in we go. Go ahead and do this. They all turn, they all seem to be in the right position. Uh, one thing that I do need to do as well is actually change these guys to neutral and change this one to neutral as well. And we also need to make them 25% as well. Otherwise, they will still damage things, unfortunately. So 25 and 25. Actually, they could be bigger. The rear ones could be larger than the other ones. But for now, this is okay. So press 1. Okay, all of them are turning. Good. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. There we go, that's all of them sort of working. And then if I want to go forwards, we do this. Aha! Yes! Okay, I'm actually very pleased with this so far. This is great. So, what I want to do from here is I want to go online or in line with this guy. I want to go ahead and put this all the way out at the edge of the wing. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, just like so. Um, that's fine. I'm then going to put a block in there, and I'm going to send this into there. I'm then going to go from here somewhere into this, and that looks awesome. It totally looks like it's going to work. The other thing that I really want to get done as well is I'm going to delete all of this real quick. Get ourselves a door, and I want to smash that on the side, because at the minute, I, I guess I can. So let's go ahead and flip it over, put it on there like that. We're going to go to the other end. We're going to do the exact same thing. So, turn this around, flip it over, turn it around again, there, okay. So, fill this in at the top, fill this in at this top, there we go, and now we've got doors on the side. Okay, guys, this is it, this is it, yes. It's not really how I wanted it to look in the uh, first place, but if it works, it works. I'm okay with this. Alright, um, so, I guess that's it for today's video. Um, let me go ahead and take it outside, pack it next to the one that we had previously, and we'll go from there. Okie dokie, so here they are outside. Clearly that one is our first one, and this one is our second one. It has propellers on it, which is interesting. It has engines. We need to figure out a place for it to hold fuel, but other than that, it is totally gonna work. That is amazing. So if we want to turn it on, we just press 1, we do this and this. This and this. I will put these on buttons eventually, so don't worry about that. And then if we want to go forwards, we do this. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be very cool. 
Anyway, uh, for now, I'm going to end this video here. We are on schedule so far for these seven videos. It might turn into ten. We'll see. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, I'm going to add this to the end as well, because I will get called out on it. But uh, there is four propellers on the rear ones, and there are only three propellers on the front ones. So I'll change that in the future. But for now, this is okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.